Hello. Today we are looking at the BU353W11 USB GNSS sensor. So this device is used for Windows apps. As you can see it has the name right on the nameplate. It is blue. Um, it has a QR code to go to the website. Um, this device only works with Windows. On the back it has some specs and then on the side some more specs. So what's inside the box? Uh, first thing is it has the main unit. As you can see it has the name right here BU353W11 and it is a USB. It also comes with the quick start guide and a suction cup. Now I will show you how to use this device with your Windows PC or laptop. So as you can see on the quick start guide, the first thing is to download the driver. So on your computer, open your web browser and go to www.globalsat.com.tw. Now you can search up here, go to support, click it, and then you can find the BU353W11. Click that, and uh, right here you can find the U-Blocks GNSS sensor device driver. Click this to download the driver. And then you will just follow the steps on the quick start guide, press next, I agree, installed. And then next is to open, go back to your computer, once you install the driver, search for device manager. Then click to open device manager. Now you will connect your device to your computer or PC. As you can see, you scroll down to where it says sensors. And you can click that, and you can see it says U Blocks GNSS Location Sensor. This means the device is connected and the driver has been downloaded. Next, next you would have to, if you follow the Quick Start Guide, you will see that you will have to go to your settings to allow uh, your computer to use this device for. Uh, its location. So, on your search down here, you will go to settings, click on that, and then you should scroll down to where it says privacy and security. You will click on that, then scroll down to where you see location. Click on that, and there should be a setting that says let apps access your location. Make sure that is on. Scroll down to where it says maps and make sure that, that is on. Once you turn these settings on, it will allow your computer to use a third party device for its location. So if you follow the quick start guide, it will tell you to use Microsoft Maps in order to test the device. So you will click your Windows button and then you should see the Microsoft Store and you just click that. And then you can type in Microsoft Map but you will see that it no longer pops up. Now they have a different uh, mapping app called Windows Maps. So you can type in Windows Maps and click on that. And then you would have to download Windows Maps. It will probably ask you for your Microsoft password. But once you downloaded Windows app, uh, Maps, you can use this device. So I will actually go down to my Wi-Fi and turn it off. That way the computer has to use this device for its location. So open Windows Maps. 
As you can see right now, uh, it's not really showing a location. But now you will click this circle where it says show my location. And as you can see, now it is showing my location. So on the device, if the light is red, it means it is getting power. If the light is blinking, it means it has a GPS fix and it can see the satellites. If the light is solid, it means it does not have a GPS fix and it's recommended to put this device by a window or an open sky. As you can see, the device is working with the Windows Map apps. Uh, you can use this app or you can close it and then you will just search for the app you want to use and it should be working.